up, Man from Oaks Fab. Today's video is going to be part one of a trailer restoration. So I've got an event booked for the Mark II Escort, first event for that. It's a bit of a like shakedown test sort of thing in Pembury, which is next Sunday. So looking forward to that. And uh, also, update on the mongrel. I'm going to be picking the mongrel up next Wednesday. So can't wait to see that painted. Um, I saw Matt yesterday and yeah he basically said it'll be ready to collect on Wednesday so um, this is Kieran's trailer he's got the unit next door and we went to use it the other day and the uh, brakes had all seized solid on it took it all apart all the brakes have fallen to bits need new wheel bearings so he's bought a whole load of new parts for it wheels bearings brakes cables tires the lot and then there's some other fabrication work that needs doing to the trailer so so um, we're going to drag the trailer out and uh, have a quick look at it all right so this is this is it this is like a heavy plant type trailer so it can carry loads of weight um, these ramps aren't for the trailer so we need to make these, we need to get rid of this huge step, cut them to an angle that matches the floor when the trailer's obviously laid out, when the ramps are laid out, and then we need to adjust these so that they can slide all the way in, make some kind of door for the back um, so they can't fall out. There's various cracked welds around the trailer that we need to fix. Obviously we need to do all the brakes. And then at the front, there's a, uh, there's a winch that went on here that was just kind of bolted through this bit with the winch rope going out through there. Gonna make a new plate, like a winch tray that will sit here that won't be connected to this so that um, this will be independent to the rest of the trailer so you can just take this off because that's the idea of this this is like a he's got all the sides for the trailer as well if he needs to use it for for whatever and then we need battery amount for a battery for the winch and he's got a strap box go somewhere i think maybe we might mount it here um, spare tire on this side, uh, strap box on this side. So the first thing I notice with these ramps is that the end isn't square. Because they've had a sl slot cut in them. Um, and if you lay them out like that, You can see that they're just skewed right off to one side because those ends aren't cut square. It looks like they've done the same on the other end. So whatever they, whatever that was done for a reason for whatever these were originally for, who knows? But we need to at least get this end square that sits uh, on the edge of the ramp. <coughs> so we'll cut that end piece off and. Uh, Start again with that little visitor over there, look.
All right, so I've got these cut. I've trimmed this end piece, which was just weld on there. So that will sit nicely like that. Then we just need to weld that all the way around. So I've gone a little bit over on the angle there just so that to get a low car on this he's going to have to jack the front of the uh, jockey wheel up um, so that the actual bed's tilting a bit so that there's less of a ramp angle here when you load. So just a little bit of extra, a um, little bit of extra room there just to make sure that the ends of the ramps don't lift off the floor as you drive up because uh, if you don't have enough angle here and then you, and then you lower this down uh, what will happen is this corner will hit the floor this will be lifted up off the floor here and then when you drive the car up on it, it will rock on that bit and knock the ramp off the uh, end there, which I've seen happen before. So that's just to prevent that from happening. I'm going to be, I'm going to be flat out on the pedal and the welder. I've got my raffle up at the moment. There's 40 tickets left if you want to try and win one of these for five quid. All the details are on uh, Instagram or Facebook um, and that's not because I'm trying to discriminate against all my YouTube crew, that's because uh, YouTube don't let you promote a raffle on YouTube because something to do with promoting gambling, which is interesting because whenever I watch anything on YouTube I'm just bombarded with gambling adverts but uh, I don't want to break any rules so you'll have to um, go over there and have a look if you want to get, get in on that
That was full blast, full pedal to get that going in there. And uh, the outside corner it actually did all right on. Um, it's pretty scummy, dirty um, aluminium, and I only really cleaned it with a grinder, so there's a lot of black crap floating in it, but it's good enough. I've got the Hertz turned right down to 60 and a big old ball on the tungsten. That's just to like fan the weld out to get it to fill the uh, fill the gap. This is the other end, just gonna try and just gonna fill this uh, end up as well just to make it a bit stronger. The ceramp sorted. Gonna have a look at the winch tray now. Right, so the plan for this is this had a winch bolted through here that was flapping about, cable going through there, wasn't very good. Um, and then it had a, uh, just like a little box with a battery sat on it here. So what I wanna do is mount, the, mount uh, just a, like a nice big flat plate here uh, that he can drill for however his winch is going to fit. Cut this out a bit bigger, make like a covering panel for the front so that, that looks a bit neater. And then I'm going to connect it into the actual chassis of the trailer so it's not connected to this. So you'll still be able to just push the cable back through the big hole here and then lift this piece off and still have the uh, um, the winch and everything usable without having this on it. Now I've got this big old battery which I'm gonna sit, uh, I'm gonna basically like plate across the bottom of this, these two here, the battery will sit just um, under there. The back of the battery's got like a lip on it which will then sit nicely underneath here yeah, the battery will sort of be sheltered underneath the uh, winch tray and then we'll get rid of this so he can have easy access to the battery to get it out when he wants to charge it and whatnot. Sorry about my light. There we go. This is what we got.
Um, these will sit on the edges like that. That's what the winch is going to sit on. Um, the winch isn't turning up till Monday, so I, kind of, I could have uh, obviously pre-cut the holes for this, but we just have to drill it and there's like a little plate thing that sits on here with the like uh, roller things on the front here. But that is that. So we just need to uh, clean everything up on the front of the trailer and then just weld all that together. We need to uh, just get this all tacked up. I'm using the <clears throat> Pulsed MIG on the MP200. I like Pulsed MIG for doing thicker stuff. I would have used it for the uh, alley but I didn't have the uh, wire here. Perfect Amanda. Just need to make a little bent thingy bracket to uh, bolt into that. 
but I'll do that in the next one when we got the winch and the rest of the bits. How do I get this first time now? Oh mate, how much of Fresh bearings. Oh mate. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. It's not going too well, is it? Cause these, these are junk, mate. I'm trying to This is how you get to She's in. Oh, oh, she's in. Oh. This is when we find out the bearings are the wrong size. <laughs> we got one sweet, one that's half stuck on. Oh, there she is. That shaft's grimy. We need to. Need to wire a wheel that on out. Works in a grimy shop. All the shaft polishing jokes. Which way is it? It just needs the wiggle, mate. Where's the sledge? <laughs> <laughs> it needs the precision. Oh! Oh! Is it in? Anti climax. Oh, that's the spot. That's the one. Ready to roll? Ready. Sweet. That's the uh, battery tray winch plate thing done um, wait till that turns up bolt it on cut this out make like a plate to go on the front and that'll be that finished and just make a little mounting tab for the to hold the battery in mount the box here got a new jockey wheel to go on there and then next video is going to be doing all the brakes um, cables Alright, that is it for this video. There'll be another uh, another video on the trailer, finishing that off. Might be another couple of videos. Um, once all the work's done, he's gonna paint the whole thing. So um, I'll probably keep this going as a little bit of a like project video, two or three videos, four videos maybe. Um, but after the next one, obviously it's gonna be usable and then we can we're going to be able to take this thing where we need to go in it more importantly going to get to go and pick up the mongrel on wednesday so can't wait for that i know a lot of people have been uh continually contacting me um asking when it was going to be done but uh now you know so pick it up wednesday obviously i'll film me going to pick it up and i'll try and get that uploaded you know as soon as possible so you will get to see see it with the paint on it but that's going to be it for this one go get yourself a raffle ticket for the up trail helmet if you haven't already still 40 left um and yeah ne next video will probably be the next trailer update so uh, i'll see you on that one cheers for watching see you on the next one